Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and um, the video thumbnail says that this is going to be a review of this um, Sonoff uh, Matter compatible Mini but it's not really going to be the review because um, although it is here, it is working, it is not working the same way as it would be working when uh, this product gets released and uh, um, I wanted to do a review video, like I just show you how it works, but then, you know, I was talking to Sonoff and they said that uh, um, everyone seemed to be um, holding out any reviews or holding any reviews until the, you know, the final software comes out because, um, you know, this is really what you will get once the product is released. And this version is coming in the beginning of August. So, you know, some of the things that they want to build into this product is not available yet, even though this is working already, as I said, and I was able to test it in the evening application and I could link it to my Google Home. And um, so for that reason, I thought that maybe I am still going to release the part of the video, which um, I mean, I had some thoughts about the matter, how this is going to change, how it's going to change for those who are in the evening ecosystem, how is it going to change for those who are not in the in the evening but maybe they just have you know like a google system or an alexa system or a uh, an apple home kit system because the thing is because it's matter compatible it's going to work with them all and you don't even need any you know third party application on top of it um so that's going to be the rest of the video, but before that, since I have it here, I'm just going to show you how it looks like at the moment. So it really looks like the, um, what is it, the Mini Extreme, which was released very recently. And um, yeah, you can see the same number of pins. So you have the line in, line out, and the neutral, and the two S, S1 and the S2s for switch input. And, um, <clears throat> and the only difference is really is that uh, the extreme had this orange accent and this one has this green accent. So maybe the matter compatible will have this kind of color scheme, like greenish. And also the, the box is like, well, the box looks a little bit more blue, but maybe this is some weird color balance. But anyway, maybe that's going to be the new one. Like, you know, orange is like Zigbee stuff and maybe that's going to be the matter stuff. And um, I can still use it in my EVLink app. And actually I'm going to, um, leave like a sped up video of how I was able to configure it uh, for Google Home, which was really easy. And, you know, it is working from Google Home as a matter compatible device. So you don't need, you know, the EVLink app, you don't need anything, you don't need like a third party plugin or service. And then my second generation uh, Nest Hub was able to control it without any issues. So it is definitely working as a, as, as a matter hub. So I'm quite happy with it. It, it already delivers what, uh, was promised by Matter or the whole standard. But then, as I said, there is going to be a software update. So they said that they are somehow going to merge the EVLink application and the Matter compatibility so it would be able to work together. So you can control it from a Matter network as a Matter device and maybe control it through EVLink as a son of device at the same time. So, and then hopefully that would you know, offer more features, something like that. So we will see how that works, how that will work. And then, you know, once those features are available, I would definitely follow up with a new video. But uh, I think for now, it's just more going to be like talking and thinking about it before, uh, without actually, you know, showing you much, because as I said, what I can show you now is, is, is probably not that relevant. So let me just cut back the things that I report, uh, recorded a couple of days earlier. And of course, I would encourage you to sort of have any discussions, what you think about it, questions you might have, you can just leave it in the comment section below. So once I come back and then review this again, then I would be able to have those questions formed into the whole review and then, you know, look at this device, uh, uh, you know, through those ideas or through those concerns as well. So the way it works at the moment is that you can just use it as a regular mini. So you can just, you know, hook it up and then you can link it to your evening application. It just works like a mini extreme. That was the most recent mini that was introduced and it was the same form factor. The only difference, what you can see from the outside is that instead of this uh, green accent, it had an orange accent. 
but of course there are a lot more difference than that. But physically it's the same thing, probably it's worked, uh, it, it revolves around an ESP32, although I haven't opened it, so I don't know. But then, if you are not using it with the evening application, you can just use it as a matter device. So for example, I have a second generation uh, Google Nest Hub at home, and I was able to uh, um, link it to my Nest Hub, and it was it's working, you know, it's just like a, uh, a device which is compatible with Google, but because it uses Matter, it's not only compat compatible with Google, but if you have a, a proper, let's say, Alexa device that supports Matter, then you can use it for that. If you have a Google HomePod, which also <clears throat> supports Matter, then you can use that as well. Or if you have like a Home Assistant that supports Matter, you can link it directly to Home Assistant. And in those cases, you don't need EVLink application at all. And of course, this is the big promise of Matter, because then you will not be tied to an ecosystem. I mean, eventually you will still be tied to an ecosystem, but you will not be tied to the ecosystem which is created by the manufacturer of the hardware, because um, the, you know, anything which is Matter compatible would be able to run with it. It's, it's sort of like Zigbee, that anything which works with so if you have a zigbee thermostat if you have a zigbee switch or if you have a zigbee button that any system which uses zigbee can use uh, those device uh, can use your device so matter is going to do uh, it's going to do something similar but it's going to do a lot more but again matter is just getting released it's just evolving so it doesn't support a lot of different devices so for example it doesn't support cameras as, uh, cameras at the moment <clears throat> but the simple devices like um, you know switches are already supported in matter and i think probably like some basic sensors as well but they would increase uh, the specification and there would be you know maybe in the coming years there will be more devices supported for matter if you are a sonoff or an evening user then this whole thing is probably not going to matter you much because you probably already have uh, devices in the EV link and you are using it either with you know just the EV link application or the iHost. So if you continue using that, it's not going to make you a big difference if you're using a matter compatible mini or you're using any EV link device. Because the, the whole thing, the whole other big thing about Matter is that it does local control. And if you're using the EVLink application, it's going to be cloud-based anyway. And if you're using the iHost, then you can control other devices uh, locally with the iHost that are compatible with the iHost. So like other Wi-Fi devices. So again, that's, that's going to be the same. I think this is more going to matter with, uh, for those who are not using the Sonoff system. Let's say they only have an Alexa device, a Google device, or a, um, an Apple HomePod. Um, so they, you know, before they wouldn't buy Sonoff because they want, don't want to get into the ecosystem. But now they can su uh, choose the matter compatible Sonoff because they would be able to use that. And then maybe, you know, it's going to be cheaper than some of the alternative. So that could, that could be the value proposition from Sonoff that they would be able to manufacture matching or very similar products on a lower price than the competition. And of course, there is also a question of, you know, is there something else? Is, is there something that Sonoff would be able to offer on top of, let's say, another smart switch or another matter compatible switch, which uh, will be available on the market? And for me, that's also like a big question because uh, what we have seen over the years that there was a lot of Sonoff um, uh, there was a lot of improvements from Sonoff from the simple devices like it started with inching and now there is always this delayed start and auto off and auto on and on the multi-output devices we have interlock um, and um, yeah so we have all those features which I think for many users they could be just edge cases but for some that's like sort of like the differentiating factor from just a regular Wi-Fi switch. And, and again, I think in this market when there is a lot of companies are um, you know, fighting for, for your product, very similar product, maybe these you know, small differences are going to make a difference. Like uh, I heard so many, uh, well, I've seen so many comments uh, saying that whoever lives in areas where 
you know, the electrical grid is a little bit less reliable. They are looking for uh, devices or smart devices that can delay the start of certain uh, appliance. So, for example, if the power is cut and the power comes back and you have a fridge and an AC and some other things that are connected to your home and they all start to come on, or come on at the same time because the power comes back, then the breaker is going to trip. So they were looking for devices where they can delay um, the power on state, but let's just say by 10 seconds or you know 20 seconds. So you have a little bit of delay when the AC comes on, your water heater comes on, and your you know fridge comes on. So they don't you know do a big surge on your network or your grid, and they are going to trip your breaker. So small things like this, maybe that's going to make a difference. Actually, maybe before I do the, the review, I just wanted to go through the physical look. I mean, I'm not really going to say you anything new because, as I said, it's really like, uh, it, it looks like, it feels like, and it be, uh, well, for the evening application, it behaves like, just like a mini extreme. So you can see that you have all the inputs and the outputs. So these two wires that you can see here, so those are my mains. So they are connected to live in and they are connected to neutral. And I have this small lamp here, which is connected to other neutral connection and live out. So, you know, no more regular switch, nothing special about that. And we have the S1 and the S2 connections. So this is how, you, this is where you would connect a physical lamp, sorry, a physical switch. So you can get your old switch and put this uh, matter mini just behind the switch and then you can make it smart. So I think that will be all for today. Well, if you like this product, you just have to wait because there is not available yet. I don't have a link uh, to purchase it, but so you have to be patient, uh, probably, you know, based on the August date for the new software. Maybe it's coming in August, but maybe it's only September, but uh, we'll see. So once new information is released from Sonoff, then we will know what the final date is. So that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.